Hi everyone, uh, welcome to a quick uh, session on uh, year marking in Maharashtra. We had already explained it through a note, uh, there isn't pretty much but we had explained it through a note. We will just quickly through you the, uh, take you through the same example that we are going to explain again. Don't get confused, this is possibly relevant for those candidates who belongs, belong to any category within Maharashtra, eligible, those who are eligible for category seats within uh, Maharashtra, category based reservation. We are taking the example of a candidate uh, who belongs to SC category for reference over here. This is applicable for all the categories too. Under year marking option when you are filling choices, you can choose open or reserved. Reserved means your category basically or open is what you can choose. If you are an open category candidate, there is nothing to choose over here because you will be eligible only for open seats. A reserved category candidate is eligible for both open seats and the reserved category seats. So in this scenario, the candidate would be eligible for both open seats and SC category seats. What happens usually in All India Counseling is if an open category candidate, if an SC category candidate uh, has an option at his particular rank has an option of first option, first choice of the candidate. It is available in open and SC let us say. In all India automatically open seat is allotted. But in this scenario uh, where earmarking is applicable in Maharashtra, the candidate can possibly choose which seat is allotted or which seat is actually earmarked. We will explain that. Under earmarking you will see open or reserved. This basically means if I have the choice of both open and SC seats. I am being allotted a seat, first choice was not available, second choice was not available, third choice was not available, fourth choice is available. Now I am being allotted the seat, so I have filled let us say 40 choices, not, first choice is not available under open and SC, second choice is not available under open and SC, third choice is not available under open and SC, both categories, because everybody else took the seat and I am not able to get, I, am, I have not uh, got those choices, but now fourth choice is available, now in this fourth choice, if both open seats and SC seats are available, which one should I decide to earmark? What is earmark? Earmark means setting aside. I want to set aside for below rankers. So I can decide to earmark or set aside for lower rankers. For lower rankers, which one do I want to set aside? Set aside is what you need to check, uh, decide. So let us say you want to set aside open then you will say open which means for the lower rankers I am giving them a open seat, an open seat. If I want to set aside an SC seat for the lower rankers I will say reserved or SC over here is reserved. Now that means I am earmarking a reserved seat means that that seat will be set aside for the lower rankers which obviously means if I am going to set aside this seat this will be allotted to me. If I am going to set aside this seat or earmark this seat the SC seat will be allotted to me, correct? So whatever I set aside will go to the lower ranker, whatever I don't set aside will come to me when both the seats are available. We we'll look at other, other scenarios of when open only is available or SC only is available. So that is very clear. Basically if I choose SC or reserved under earmarking, it means I wish to set aside an SC seat after my allotment or basically I wish to be allotted the open seat. Both are available, I wish to be allotted the open seat, SC should go to below rankers. First thing, round one impact. What you do in round one? I am setting aside something. I am taking ear marking. That will not impact your allotment. One, two, three, four, your fourth choice will not get missed out because of what you choose here. Your fourth choice will still be allotted. Only open seat is there, SC seat is, only SC seat is there, only open and SC, uh, both open and SC seats are there. In all the three scenarios, you will get the seat. If first three are not available and in all the three scenarios, if you will get the seat. But, so what you choose will not impact your seat. What others above you might choose might impact what you get. What you choose might impact what others get below you. But your choice of earmarking will not take away your seat. So you can't control what others do. You can't control, uh, uh, the lower rankers cannot control what you do. So you do what is right for you. That is what is the first thing. You What you decide will not impact what others possibly above you might have decided may impact. For round on allow allotment, whether you earmark open or reserved, it does not matter for your seat allotment. You might get an open or SC seat accordingly, but it does not matter. Your allotment will be the same seat. No advantage for you based on your earmarking. I earmarked open or SC does not result in any advantage. A higher ranked candidate, that might result in an advantage or a disadvantage, but your seat, uh, your earmarking will not impact your seat. 
taking the example of the SE candidate, all scenarios what, whatever we have done is for the topmost uh, seat available. Let us say we are taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For me only 5th seat is available. These seats are now not available under open or SC category. Uh, no seats in open, no seats in SC for all these. Which means I can't be allotted anyways. I can't take another category seat. So at 5, I might have multiple scenarios. This is available. Now how is it available is the question. I have an MD pediatrics at let us say uh, uh, LTM. It is available, but how is it available? The choice available can be only an open seat or only an SC seat or both seats, correct? If it is available, any one of these for me. For example, let us say my first four choices are not available, fifth choice is available and this could be only an open seat, only an SC seat or fifth choice is both open and SC category seats. Now both are available. Uh, so scenario one, only SC seat is available. If only SC seat is available, my fifth choice LTM pediatrics only SC seat is available. Whatever be the year marking you are going to get the seat, correct? Because SC seat is available that has to be allotted. So obviously there is only one SC seat, no open seats are available. Whatever you have year marked you will get the SC seat. Since you are eligible for the SC seat and that alone is available you will be getting the SC seat. If you do a free exit later, I am not joining. This concern is there. If you do a free exit later, for what reason will you do a free exit? We don't know. Ideally, you won't do a free exit. It's a very, very rare scenario. You are putting in a seat now. After all India round and results are out, you are going to Maharashtra round two and you are filling in a seat. This obviously, obviously will be a better seat than all India round one. Okay. So, you want free exit. Ideally, you will join the seat by resigning your all India round one already joined seat. Second, you go into all India, sorry, Maharashtra round one this is. So, you go into all India round two seat. Now you take an all India round one seat and you will put in a better seat only in Maharashtra round one. You will get that seat. So free exit you won't do. And even if you join then you will go on to all India round two then you will go for a better seat only. So this seat will not be a good seat. But still we will look at free exit. Let us say a candidate wants to free exit for some strange reason. That the seat that the candidate wants to fill. Then what happens? This is an SC seat. Only an SC seat is available. In the next round it will be available as an SC seat as a vacancy. Correct? You did not join. So it is not with you, it is a vacancy. If no SC candidate above you takes the seat, you will get the seat. Obviously, you can't change it to an open seat, it will be an SC seat only. Same scenario, scenario, same uh, similar scenario. S only open seats are available. Fifth choice is available, LTM pediatrics, but only open seats are available. There is only an open seat, no SC seats are available. Whatever you have earmarked, I have earmarked open or reserved, doesn't matter. You will get the open seat. Correct? Because Nothing can be done, you will get the open seat, no vacancies for the next, that seat is not vacant. Since you are eligible for the open seat alone, you will get the open seat. If you do a free exit, that seat will still say an open seat and next round, it will come as an open seat and it will be available for all candidates above you. Now, that can, can you change that to an SC seat? You can't get change that. Now, this is when there is a confusion. Earmark as reserved. I have earmarked saying reserved or SC seat is to be rear marked. I want an SC seat to go to the lower rankers. Correct? That is what ear marking is. Setting aside for lower rankers. Both open and SC seats are available. System will have to allot one. In all India, obviously open seats will be allotted. But here you have a choice. I have reserved an SC seat for lower rankers. There is an SC seat and an open seat available at your rank. Since you ear marked as SC, you intend to set aside SC seat for below rankers you will therefore be allotted an open seat. You will get an open seat. Which one? LTM Pediatrics. Open seat you will get. And below rankers will get LTM Pediatrics SC seat. That is what will happen. The SC seat will hold to go to a below rank candidate. Only SC candidates below your rank will be eligible for this SC seat. Correct? Because it is an SC seat that goes below. If you join and continue with the allotted open seat. Now comes the next part. I continue to and join with the allotted open seat from after round one. Nothing happens. There is no difference, right? I continue with the seat. Will there be a difference? No difference. We will come to the impact too. Whether I get an open seat or an SC seat, that makes a difference for me. No difference here if you continue. But if you are planning to take a free exit, very, very rare scenario. But if you are planning to take a free exit and then go back to round two, then Fill the same seat in round 2. Well, who would do that? Usually most won't do that. Very rare case. But if you do that, the seat available will be the open seat. Because you were allotted an open seat here. So, uh, lower rank candidate was allotted the SC seat. This the candidate would have taken and joined. You leave the seat. Again it will be an open seat. Which means 
let us say you are ranked 500 above there there are 499 candidates if you take a free exit then you want to fill the same seat again for some strange reason then all these 1 to 499 will be eligible for the seat because it is an open seat all the candidates will be eligible for the open seat if they don't opt for it or change choices then you will get the seat obviously they did not use their choices above this but uh, uh, only that you uh, got it but fresh choice filling right they might change choices they might get it but all candidates are eligible 1 to 499 now same way earmarked as open and both open and sc seats are available at your rank so i have earmarked as open last time it was sc which means i intend to there is an open seat and sc seat available i earmarked as open which means i intend to set aside the open seat for below ranks so i have an sc seat and what seat ltm pediatrics open seat and ltm pediatrics SE seat is available, I earmarked an open to go to below rankers, I can only be allotted the LTM SC seat. In this case, I will get an LTM SC seat, open seat will go to the lower ranker. If you join and continue with the SC seat, nothing matters, same. You join, then later leave the seat also, no problem. As long you leave the seat only if you get a better seat. So no problem at all. But if for some strange reason again you free exit, which will not happen usually, and go back to round two, then how, if you do free exit, you will be confident that your all-India round one seat is better than this. You won't go back to round two and fill the same seat. But for some strange region, uh, reason you fill the round two uh, round one seat again in round two, the vacant seat will be available as an uh, will the vacant seat will be an SC seat because open seat went to the lower rankers. You were allotted an SC seat, then your seat will be an SC seat that will be available. This will mean only SC candidates above your rank. So you are rank 500, 1 to 499 can see this because it is a vacancy pure vacancy you did, you are not holding it then in that case only sc candidates within this rank can compete that is a reference so that that is the only difference uh, now any other change in uh, your our next next question is any other change in outcomes is there anything at all that impacts because i understand that i will get that seat anyways does this matter in free exit scenario, maybe there is a minor difference. But otherwise, any change in outcomes, in all of the above scenarios, you will definitely get the LTM pediatric seat. Correct? That is That will not be taken away from you. The fee will still be the same and does not change. That will not change. Just because you might have an open seat or you might have an SC seat. In scenario 3 and 4, this might vary. But your fee does not depend upon whether you get an open seat or an SC seat. You are an SC category candidate or a BJ candidate. That determines any fee concession or any benefit at a later point in time. Your category, your category will not change, right? So this is not relevant there. So any benefits, scholarships are based on the category of the candidate, not on the category of the seat allotted. The seat category you are allotted does not define fee, concession, any benefit. So that way you don't need to uh, worry about saying that, I belong to this category, I take an open seat, I lose my concession or welfare funds, anything, nothing will change. So that is pretty much what we have. This is earmarking. Hope we have explained it very clearly. In, we have not been able to explain it with an example, but hope this is sufficient for taking decisions. Thanks a lot for watching.